hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is Tekoho Denison so in this video uh, we'll be discussing how to start rice distribution business in Nigeria without capital I'm going to share with you my story of how I was able to start a small scale rice business without a rice factory without a rice fan and how I am able to grow to a stage of owning one of the biggest rice processing factory in my state, Benue State, Makodi to be precise. And I'm also going to share with you step-by-step -step guide on how you too, you can start a rice distribution business as a side business, or let me say as a side hustle and you'll be able to make huge profits and maybe one day you become a full-time rice processor in this country because as we speak we are still importing rice into nigeria so maybe you might be a big time player in this rice business so uh it all started in 2019 to be precise when our federal government that is in nigeria when the federal government made a pronouncement that importation of food should stop or the federal government made a law that importation should be stopped that is it was including food stuff rice and all other product that Nigerians imported. The federal government said no importation to land, land borders were closed, air border coming in with food was closed, water was closed. Now, according to the government, their target was to help Nigerian farmers produce more. Now, their target was also to help us Nigerians, or let me say farmers get value for our product so when the pronouncement was made food stuff became so expensive in the country and it was obvious that most of the food we consumed were imported now nigeria was living 100 percent or let me say 90 percent on import, imported food imported items stuff like rice beans just name it we are importing down into Nigeria. So when the pronouncement was made, all the stuff that we had because so expensive. Sorry. All the food that we had because so expensive to an extent that <coughs> a bag of rice, or let me say consuming rice in Nigeria, was like raw. Uh, 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 not too clear when you're eating rice people will be like ah you're still consuming rice in this country at this age you are a big man no you have money you know this normal rice that me and you know it became so expensive and scarce to understand that <coughs> sometimes you have money and you will not be able to see this rice to buy so consuming rice in nigeria then was luxury People that were eating rice were first class, one percent of the one percent. So one day I went to rice me. This is our local rice me. I was there at the me. My intention was to get a rice brand that is the byproduct, the rice chaff for my poultry farm. So when I got to the place, I discovered that there was rice clean and they had a small distorting machine and polisher so my business sense just activated i was having my phone my techno phone then come on come on 12 or something or come on 11 then so i discovered that people are complaining about rice no in nigeria anything that we have issues with we post on social media any small issue is there on Facebook, on Twitter. So then I was seeing people complaining that, ah, importation of food, 
dollar is high a bag of rice is not uh, 20,000 18,000 in my state 50 kg is expensive you can't even see the rice to buy and I was like okay so when I got to the meal and I discovered that this same rice I'm seeing Twitter people and Facebook friends complaining that it's expensive that is even scarce they can't even find it to buy it's here in Makor, the Benue State in our rice meal <clears throat> so I say good I think this is something that I can do you know there I was into trading honey so I got the experience of starting with our capital so I packed the rice chap that I came for gave it to one of my keke drivers say okay yoga go and drop this one in my farm he took it to my farm I came back I was in the rice me doing my research doing my research I could go to a, a, a market room and say okay madam how much when they sell 50 kg they will tell me how much 25 kg they told me I say okay and he explained to me the one that is not the stone is 6,000 this the one that is the stone is 6,000 this I say okay so I took pictures of the rice I asked them that if I should have bug buyers if somebody is coming to buy one truck will, will you guys be able to meet up with this demand I met one of the guy that was engine grinder so I contacted him being a young man like me I explained to him that what I want us to do is I want to push this rice to my Lagos market I want to push this rice to some of my friends in Abuja in Port Harcourt. I want to push this rice to people in far states in Jaws. So he was like, Of course, if we have one truck, order of one truck, we can source from this very market. I say, Okay. I took pictures, very clean camera. I'm saying this get a good camera. I took pictures of the video of the rice did a small video and i came back in the house so i was busy when i came back so i was not able to post but around four so, sorry seven in the evening i made a post on facebook that if you need stone free rice in nigeria i have been with rice for you so i mentioned the price 50 kg this is how much 10 kg this is how much 25 kg this is how much so when I made the post, within 20 minutes, I saw comments, more than 200 comments. I was shocked. That was how the business started. So people were like, okay, can you supply to me in Lagos? I need one bag in a bar. Okay, I'm in, in Oweri. Can I get two bags? Okay, I'm in Lagos. I need one bag to test. My cooperative want to buy. And I'm in this place. I need two bags. And in Abuja, give me three bags. So people were like, call me, call me, call me, others were coming. So what I did was went to their inbox, sent in the price list, cost of trans transferring, or let me say delivery to them. So when they did that calculation, they also discovered that ah, even if I should buy this rice from Denko fans in Benue State, and the way be is two thousand, I will still get the rice in Lagos and the price is way cheaper than the one we are buying in Lagos already. So most of my clients, after doing their give or take calculation, they come back to me. In a day, the profit, that is that night, around 7 to 8, I made a profit of over 24,000 Naira. That is, I made a profit of 24,000 Naira on rice without selling. I have not even sold anything. I have not gotten to the, my, my people in rice fact in rice me to package a rice and start selling. I was just in my house with Facebook that you also have in your phone, with Instagram that you already have in your phone. I just press, made a post on this very Facebook that you have, and I was able to get bulk buyers. So the first set of people that came, I think around ten or or five or six persons like that that paid money i supplied to them they cooked the rice and they discovered that yeah it's stone free and it's good after cooking and it doesn't turn watery that was how the business started others started coming in so i was just, I was just telling okay okay man how was the rice was it fine my chat with them i'll screenshot because when i say the rice is stone free 
due to your experience or let me say the belief that we have on nigerian rice not being clean people are not too sure or confident or my brand of rice was not trustworthy so nobody was interested in buying the rice per se but when i got the reviews and i post our chat by inbox and i post on facebook people were like okay somebody bought in lagos and the person says it's stone free and the rice is good okay let me order and that was how the rice business started people started sharing the post people started sharing my comments my testimony testimony from my customers people started sharing them and once they share i will see more than 50 messages people making inquiries okay i want to start how much do i need okay can you supply one bag then it was getting towards uh, november december season which is one of the most busiest season in nigeria but let me say even the world people that celebrate christmas and new year so i was able to push this brand out because it was tour season so one day somebody i i, I made a post one of my co-founder made a post and someone shared the post and in that post we post that okay we have uh Benway rice selling at so so, so and so amount and the person made it so one of, one of the influencers shared her post and in that post we got a d of 1.5 million the woman was like i need 300 bag of rice weekly but i'll be starting with people on 100 bags supply to me Share you say it's stone free and it's long grain supply to me so that once we test we'll be buying more so that was how we started we shared the the, the we got to work the 1.5 million was paid into our accounts the next target was for us to meet up with the demand and quality so we went to the market bought rice the stone polish made all the effort to supply the best and that was how the business started 1.5 million without a rice factory without a rice fan and as even starters in the business and i want to guarantee you that some persons were there with those machines so and they are, were looking for customers but you and i have access to facebook facebook is one of the most greatest thing to happen to a generation if you have your facebook and you're still looking for shop you're still looking for capital to start your business there's something wrong with your level of exposure you have if you have a smartphone this very phone here and there is facebook this facebook in your that in this your phone you don't have to bother you don't have to complain you have all the capital you need this very smartphone here after posting the rice doing one or two contract for people supplying the rice to people i was able to build a rice brand i was able to build get funds from investors to build a rice factory now a lot of people who just want to kick start with building the rice factory but the fact is you need to understand the a to z of your business before you'll be successful in it if you want to start like one of the richest man in Africa and in Nigeria to be to, to be specific, Elijah Liko Dangote, when he started, he said he started trading cement. This cement that we know, we all read the story now that he the, the uncle borrowed in six hundred thousand. So what he did was bought cement into Nigeria, started trading cement. So when he understood the business of cement, how how many customers are willing to buy cement? what is the packaging and uh, what is the cost involved then he was able to get phones and then set up a cement production factory and now there's nothing you tell him about cement that he doesn't know he can collect 10 billion dollars from you and set up a cement factory and run it successfully now you as a starter you shouldn't be looking at starting your rice factory because there are certain things that you, you need to know so you can start by threading coco mama rice which is product of denko fans limited 
you can buy two bags three bags five and then sell it to people and see what do customers need are they more are they willing to buy long grain at higher price or they prefer short grain or they prefer the mix mixture of both the short and the long grain so when you understand this aspect very well you can get then go and build a rice factory recently someone met me and was telling me that there's a rice factory of 2.1 billion for sales in abuja i was shocked when somebody will have such an asset and will be begging people to come and buy of course maybe the person need money or one or two things that come up but what i'm saying is if you don't understand the business even if you pick a loan because some of you watching this video will have access to loan even if you pick a loan and you set up your fan or your factory you might not understand the business either the people that are coming to work for you will eat the business down or you will also eat your business down and it will sink so starting a rice distribution business you don't need a factory you don't need any machine you just need contacts of people that are producing quality rice quality packaging not anyhow rice so once you get their contact you can start promoting this rice i'm making this video in august and we're heading towards november december season so this season i'm urging you to come and start rice distribution business you can start by distributing denko fans rice coco mama rice you can start by distributing any brand of rice at all and if you want to start you don't have to start looking at what navdact will do forget about navdact and make money first before navdact will notice that you're selling rice that doesn't have their number by then it means you have made plenty money your publicity is wide before they will come to you because if you always look at what if when we started we didn't have nab that number but what happened was that some of our customers that was coming to buy rice from us some of them have their own branded bags so they would just come with the bag and give us now okay denko fans package the rice in my bag and give me our starters we package the rice we give them they sell make their profit and we'll make our own profit so if you want to start rice distribution business you shouldn't be looking at your branded bags or what navdact will say or just leave what if what if what if and start you don't need huge capital your smartphone is okay you can drop ship for people that have this rice and that was how i started so i believe you have learned a lot in this video which is just a summary of how i was able to set up my rice processing business and how i am able to build this business to this stage so all you need is get somebody that is processing rice quality rice pick from this person and start promoting these pictures on your whatsapp status promote it on your facebook your church members your fellow women the market the next shop close to you should know that you have rice you can buy one bag and start promoting send sample one cup to someone you can buy 50 kg just pick one cup put it in bottle water send it to someone to test and then once that's satisfied you come to the company and you buy at a discount price and start selling so you don't have to be jobless in this country there are so many things that you can do in agriculture and you'll be able to make money so thank you for watching my video subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because more of these videos will be coming your way i remember denison sekoho your billionaire farmer thank you